What's going on guys, Balkan Architect here and in today's tutorial I'm going to be talking about one of those tools in Revit that gets overlooked often and I think it's a really great tool that allows you to navigate like a pro in Revit and that's the full navigation wheel within Revit. So that's what I'm going to be talking about in this tutorial. But before I get started I would just like to ask you to like this tutorial, it helps me out a lot with the YouTube algorithm, it pushes the video through. Also if you haven't already I suggest you subscribe because I make useful Revit tutorials each week, I make multiple each week. Also, if you want some advanced courses, you can check out my Patreon, first link in the description there, you can get uh, all of my advanced courses, I've got 21 so far, and also you can get access to all of my Revit project files, over 300 files over there. Okay, with that out of the way, let's get started. So this project is what I'm just going to use, be using to demonstrate this tool. This is my school project, so if you want a in-depth tutorial on that, leave a comment in the comment section and then I can make kind of an overview uh, tutorial on this model. But anyway, let's talk about the navigation wheel. So the navigation wheel is located over here, uh, the full navigation wheel. You can open up the drop menu and then you have the mini full navigation wheel, the mini wheel, object wheel, uh, but they're all smaller versions. The full navigation wheel gives you all of the tools and features, so that's why I choose that one. Now, you can use it in an existing view, but uh, for now let's create a new view. So I'm just going to go to this floor plan over here, go with a camera, so just a simple camera, and I'm just going to start from over here. So just place your camera as you would. And one more thing that I'm going to do is just scroll down and here the far clip active, I'm just going to uncheck that so we can see it like infinitely. And let's also turn on the shadows, both the cast shadows and ambient shadows, just so it looks, we get a bit more depth over here. Okay, so this is the view that we have created and usually the first thing that I like to use my full navigation wheel for is setting up rendering views. So usually when you set up a view like this, it's never perfect and it's really awkward to set these up. So you need to select them, then maybe go to, I don't know, one of the levels and then here play around with the, the target and the camera position and it's super annoying and super awkward. So what I suggest you do is once you're already in the 3D view, you go to the full navigation wheel, you click over here and you get the wheel. So it's kind of tricky to operate it uh, until you get the hang of it and once you get the hang of it it's really simple. So basically it follows your uh, mouse or uh, your cursor on the screen but uh, when you stop and you go inside then you can pick from one of the buttons on the navigation wheel. And when you get to the outside boundary of the wheel, it kind of starts following your cursor. So uh, the best option is to place it wherever you want to place it and then go look through the buttons. So first let's explore the look button. It really allows you to look basically as you would with your head, just turning it around. So once you select a look, you just select that and hold it and then you can basically look around. So here we're looking around this model. So basically like that, you just look around and then where you release, that's where it's going to be stopping. So I can just, maybe I want to kind of frame it like this and unclick and then uh, I want to maybe expand my view so for that you will have to click the little X button and then you can maybe expand the view if you want and then to go back to the navigation wheel you just go over here and select it. Okay, so once we've done that, let's uh, explore uh, one of the other ones. So you have the pan tool, which is, yeah, the pan tool, and this doesn't really work great with camera views, so I don't like to use it. Same thing goes with orbit, it's just, yeah, it's a bit awkward, you're moving too fast. So again, it's something I don't suggest you use with camera views. Also, you have the zoom option, this is really cool, and I do suggest you do use this, so let's maybe or look like this and then go to zoom and you can actually zoom in by moving your uh, mouse or your cursor uh, away from you, you're zooming in and then by moving it away from you, you're zooming out. So maybe if we look down a bit more, we can kind of zoom out. Okay, it's kind of weird like this, I guess from all the orbiting. But yeah, so you can see you can zoom out and look at your project from the distance and then zoom in. So it's really useful for like navigating and placing your camera. 
Also, you have the up and down option, maybe if I move it here, yeah, so you have the up and down, so you're basically moving yourself up and down, and just to see how accurate this is, perhaps we can go here to the properties, scroll down a bit, so here's your eye elevation uh, to the view on which you have placed your th camera view, so here it says, let's see, so the eye elevation is 1.1 meters, so if I go here to up down and move it up a bit, and release and as you can see now we have gone up by 1.1 meters so you can basically play around like that now this up and down tool is great to be used in conjunction with the walk tool and the walk tool is probably the trickiest one of them all just because it requires you to have I guess one of those kind of gamer skills so basically how it works is you go here to walk and then you get this little dot in inside of the bigger green dot and then once you go outside of that, you slowly start moving. So I'm moving to the side. Now I'm moving forward. Now, as you can see, I'm making really small movements of the mouse. So I'm just going outside of it for a few millimeters, then going up for a few millimeters, because if you go further away, it's going to start moving fast. And then as you, as you can see, you kind of lose it and it goes off into the distance. And also, even though this is called a walk tool, it doesn't really allow you to walk. I mean, it kind of simulates walking, but it doesn't really recognize floor plans. So if you go like this and walk, it's going to start going underground and that's uh, not really what you want to have so what they suggest you do as I said use it in conjunction with the up and down tool so you maybe go a little up then you walk ahead and also if you move it to the side you kind of walk to the side so as you can see it's a bit tricky but once you get a hang of it it's going to be really uh, uh, really useful so just play around with it until you can walk really cool and as you can see if you move it to the side it kind of looks off to the side and maybe let's move it up a bit and then let's look up ahead like this okay so let's say you messed up let's say you went uh, to the walk tool you walked a bit and then you kind of went whoops and you're gone now it's really tricky to go back so uh, a really useful tool that comes with this navigation wheel is this option to rewind rewind so what you do is just select it you hold it and as you can see you get a lot of frames here so if you go back to a certain frame as you can see it's going to go back and move back to where you've orbited because if you do the undo tool so if you go here to the undo it's not really going to do that uh, undo doesn't work on changes in view or in navigation so you really you have to use the rewind tool so as you can see we can go all the way to the beginning so just like that, but let's go to the end to the, or to the second to last, because that's the one where we have set up our view. You also get this little drop menu where you have some options so you can orient it to view. So basically it's similar options that you would get if you were to, let's, let's first get rid of the navigation wheel. So if you were to go here, right click, and then here you have some of those orient to view options, things like that. So you will get the same options if you select the full navigation wheel and use the, uh, use the drop menu over here. So you will have those, uh, those options. You can also level the camera, which is cool. It kind of it uh, the level camera is really useful because when you when you go with the navigation wheel and maybe look up, it can distort your building. So if I look up like this, as you can see, this building is kind of at an angle, so it looks kind of weird. So if I just go here to uh, level view, level camera, yeah, and now as you can see, this is vertical. So it. it you can do that to kind of make your views less distorted then you will have to kind of expand the, the the view so make sure you play around with that but that's how you get rid of those ugly kind of angled lines and all of that so just make sure to use all of the tools that are on offer to get your best uh, best views so that's your uh, that's your navigation wheel Okay, so that concludes this uh, quick little tutorial on the navigation wheel. I hope you can use this in the future and I hope it can be really useful. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like and share this video. And as I said, if you want to check out some of my advanced courses, check out my Patreon, first link in the description. I've got one hour courses on numerous advanced topics in Revit from construction to uh, advanced family creation, advanced massing in Revit, 
things like that, adaptive components, uh, I've got on graphics, on annotation, building a complete house from start to finish. So all of those topics are covered there, so make sure you check that out. And also you will get access to all of my Revit project files like this file over here. Okay, so that's pretty much it for this quick little tutorial. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like, and share this video. And if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions for any future tutorials, make sure to leave them in the comment section below. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.